The annual Holyoke St. Patrick's Parade is a Western Massachusetts tradition. If you can't get out to the line of march, of course, you can see the parade right here Sunday at noon on WGBY. And one of the things you'll see is a float constructed by students at Dean Technical High School in Holyoke. Producer Dave Fraser brings us their story. I knew they could do it. These kids are awesome in the shop. They've done a tremendous amount of work on the, and on the float, and they are so proud of it. I mean, they work all morning, and then when their period ends, they don't want to go to class. They want to stay here and work on the float. They're so proud of it. There's going to be scale models of buildings from around the city that the Irish immigrants helped build. And there's going to be pictures around the float of other things as well because we can't fit everything. Um, and then we also get to decorate it as well. We were approached by the parade committee uh, to submit a design around um, November-ish. And we found out just around Christmas break that we had one. And then they came in and did a presentation. And then work began. Yeah, they pulled the float in the same day. We ordered materials. Materials showed up and we went right to work. I knew they could come up with, a, with a, a really good design, and their design was all about the history of Hoyoke. And um, they did a lot of research about the Irish you know, immigrants and what they built in the city and how to design the float. It came from a past design that we saw, and we also wanted to include safety and other things in it. So that's why we came up with the idea of having the gazebo where everyone sits inside it. There's five Colleen's on the float, so the kids um, thought of safety as far as being in the gazebo with the railings around as it was moving, and also with the weather-wise, if there was bad weather, they could be under some shelter. And if it's good weather, they can go in and out of the gazebo. I used to go to the parade, but sometimes it would be a bit chilly and you know there would be a lot of people, so I'd normally watch it on TV. This year, a little different because I would actually be on the float in the parade. A lot of attention, pride, and to show people what we created and what we have done. We have to have it ready and a deadline by about March 17th. And we've been working really hard, coming in on time, and trying to get things done. They love Hoyoke, this is what, what they know, and it's all about putting their ideas from the city onto the float. Total pride. Probably going to be waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning and getting dressed and running out the door, as always on parade day. So I think it'll be pretty cool, and hopefully they'll appreciate all the hard work that I put into this.